Live from WFSB, Connecticut's number one local news, this is Channel 3 Eyewitness News at 5.30. Now at 5.30, exhumed and examined from the grave. That's what's being done to the bodies of a late Norwich artist and his son-in-law after many speculate the men died from foul play back in the 1940s and 50s. And now the truth about how they died could soon be revealed. Good evening, everybody. Thanks for joining us tonight at 530. I'm Mark Zinni. And I'm Denise DeCenzo. Channel 3's Courtney Zeller joins us live with the mobile newsroom from Norwich now as she was there as both men were reburied at Maplewood Cemetery. Courtney. Well, you know, it really was an honor to be part of such a touching service today as a small group of family members and friends came together to really rebury these two men. Now, this all started because one man from California bought this artist painting and he just wanted to learn more about him and how he died. Now, after all these years, the family of this artist could get the answers they've been looking for. Being reburied and remembered. Norwich artist Ellis Ruley and his son in law Douglas Harris are lowered into their final resting place at Maplewood Cemetery. Though the wheels of justice grind slowly, they do grind. It has been decades of heartache for the family. It's been hard. Diane LaSalle is Ruli's great granddaughter. She says it was Ruli who raised her at a young age. She wants answers about his death. He showed me the way. I had to know. He took me out of a foster home where I was being abused. Him and, and Wilhelmina showed me what love was really all about. When Ruli was 77 years old, he was found in a pool of blood at the end of his driveway on Hammond Avenue. The house caught fire two years after Ruli's death. Today, that area is heavily wooded. Harris died 11 years earlier after falling head first into a well in 1948. He was 38 years old. The deaths of both men have been a mystery to some. Many suspect it was because they were black. For Glenn Palmetto Smith, he wanted to know more about Ruli after buying a piece of his art. He later wrote books and is now involved in a documentary. This has been gnawing at me for 25 years, and I've uh, been trying to do exactly what we've done here, to exhume the bodies, let's get to the bottom of it, and have a real investigation. Autopsies were performed on both men this weekend. If foul play is suspected, the cases will be reopened. For the family, it could help with closure. He was like my father. I love him very much, and I miss him. I'll see him on the other side. I just love him. Now that film is expected to be released in 2016. A little closer though, those autopsies, those results are expected in about five weeks. We'll keep you posted on what happens with that. And we also want to mention everything from the caskets to the headstones, even to those autopsies, all donated by local businesses. We're live with the mobile newsroom tonight in Norwich. Courtney Zeller, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. All right.